Mother's Day is a beautiful occasion that allows us to express our love and gratitude towards the most special woman in our lives, our mothers. In the light of the Quran and Hadiths, this day holds even greater significance as it reminds us of the immense respect and honor that mothers deserve. The Quran and Hadiths teach us to be dutiful and kind to our mothers. It emphasizes the importance of treating them with utmost love and care. Various ayahs mention the importance of respecting, honoring, and obeying parents, which of course includes mothers. Here are some ayahs that mention or allude to mothers. In Surah Al-Isra, verse 23-24, Allah says, And your Lord has decreed that you not worship except Him and to parents good treatment. Whether one or both of them reach old age while with you, say not to them so much as, Uff! And do not repel them, but speak to them a noble word. And lower to them the wing of humility out of mercy, and say, My Lord, have mercy upon them, as they brought me up when I was small. In Surah, Lukman verse 14, Allah says, And we have enjoined upon man care for his parents. His mother carried him, increasing her in weakness, upon weakness and his weaning is in two years be grateful to me and to your parents to me is the final destination in surah al-akaf verse 15 Allah narrates and we have enjoined upon man to his parents good treatment his mother carried him with hardship and gave birth to him with hardship and his gestation and weaning period is 30 months he grows until when he reaches maturity and reaches the age of 40 years. He says, My Lord, enable me to be grateful for your favor which you have bestowed upon me and upon my parents and to work the righteousness of which you will approve and make righteous for me my offspring. Indeed, I have repented to you and indeed, I am of the Muslims. These verses emphasize the importance of treating parents, especially mothers, with respect, gratitude and kindness, recognizing the hardships they have endured in raising their children. Hadiths on the subject of the mother. There are several hadiths, sayings of Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, that emphasize the importance of mothers in Islam. Here are some of them. Importance of mothers over fathers. A man came to the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and asked, O Messenger of Allah, who among the people is the most worthy of my good companionship? The Prophet said, Your mother. The man asked, Then who? The Prophet said, Then your mother. The man further asked, Then who? The Prophet said, Then your mother. The man asked again, Then who? Thereupon the Prophet said, Then your father. Hadiths from Sahih Bukhari, Hadiths number 5971, Hadiths from Sahih Muslim, Hadiths number 2548. Paradise lies at the feet of mothers. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Paradise lies at the feet of your mother. Sunan an Nasai, 3104, a mother's dua, supplication, for her children. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, Three supplications are answered without doubt. The supplication of the oppressed, the supplication of the traveler, and the supplication of the parent for his child. The importance of serving one's mother. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, said, He who wishes to enter paradise through its best door must please his parents. These hadiths emphasize the special status and importance of mothers in Islam. They remind believers to respect, honor, and serve their mothers as their blessings and prayers hold great significance. Mother's Day is a perfect opportunity for us to reflect upon the immeasurable sacrifices our mothers have made for us. It is a time to express our gratitude and shower them with love and appreciation. Whether it's through heartfelt words, acts of kindness, or small gestures of love, we can make this day truly special for them. Let us remember that honoring and respecting our mothers is not limited to a single day, but should be a constant endeavor. May we always strive to uphold the teachings of the Quran and the Hadiths by cherishing and valuing our mothers every day of our lives. See you in the next video. Ma Asalama.